Thomas Ricker, to my amazement, Engadget, which is a site I cover, I, I read for a long time, is in Amsterdam. Um, can you first tell me about Engadget? What kind of site is it? How how how, how is it developed over the last couple of years? Yeah, Engadget is a consumer electronics blog. Uh, we write about um, just about anything you can imagine uh, with con regard to consumer electronics. So like this uh, this Flip HD that's sitting in front of me, or mm -hmm. uh, the Blackberry on the table. Yeah, all the, the mobile television. phones, all the gadgets, all the e-books, everything which gadget-wise is there. But you also have specific blogs, huh? Yeah, we also have Engadget HD, we have Engadget Mobile, and then we also have Engadget published in, uh, in what is it, seven or eight different uh, countries. Uh, we, we do Engadget Spanish, we do Engadget German, Engadget Poland, Engadget Chinese, yeah. so and Japanese. You're one of the biggest gadget sites of, uh, of the world. And you are here in Amsterdam, and, and I didn't know that. How long have you been in Amsterdam? I've been in Amsterdam on and off for about eight years. Yeah, and, and your previous background, before you did Engadget stuff, where, where do you come from? Working in IT. Corporate IT, corporate hardcore IT. corporate IT. Yeah, I had a nice, uh, respectable haircut, wore a blue suit and a red tie and a white shirt. And uh, yeah, at the time, you know, it was, it was no problem. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, I have a background in electrical engineering and computer engineering. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm nerd to the core. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that I've been able to uh, now write professionally about gadgets and about uh, specifically consumer yeah, electronics. And you can support your life, you can support it, right? It's a I mean, real job. When you got the job, <laughs> how long ago did you start for Engadget? Started with Engadget about between four and five years ago now. And what was the pay for a post at that time? Um, about a cup of coffee, about uh, five dollars. Five dollars a blog. Yeah, yeah. And now you can live from it. Yeah, now it's proper salary. So what happened to Engadget uh, when, uh, when the founder started it and, and it grew, it was bought by? Yeah, we were just enthusiasts uh, doing it because we loved it. And uh, then we were bought out by AOL Time Warner, enormous company with a lot of money. And, um, and, and they love us. They, uh, you know, we're, the, we're the future for them. And so, uh, you know, they, they treat us quite well. And they didn't mess it up. Amazingly, yeah. yeah. There was a there was a lot of people in the industry that was quite, that were quite skeptical that uh, they would mess with editorial, that they would uh, they would make a, a mess out of out of engagement. Yeah. They left us alone. They uh, you know they fund us. They uh, they make sure that we're staffed properly. They make sure that we can travel to the big events. You know, they made sure that we had a nice big trailer outside of CES last year, mm -hmm. and uh, you know to make it easy for us to cover the event and also uh, you know. And how many people work at Engadget now? I think we have about um, 20 editor editors on a. On a on a global basis, but uh, only a fraction of them are uh, full time. Mm -hmm. It's hardcore. And you never see your colleagues except if you are trade shows or. Uh, yeah, trade shows. And, uh, and, and how do you, you work completely virtual? So, how do you get a, how do you get a feeling for what you're, what's, what's going on, what people discuss? Uh, is there conference calls? Is there some kind of an uh, online. Uh, we hardly system? ever pick up a phone. Uh, phones for us are, are, are archa archaic technology. We, uh, we do everything over instant message. We, we follow each other's Twitter streams. We, uh, we, wa we follow each other's Flickr streams. We, uh, you know, everything is virtual. And, uh, but it's those, uh, those rare times that we get together. I mean, it's a, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so now Engadget is, American Line is virtual, uh, is supported by advertisement, pays salaries to a number of people, uh, has a good advertisement model. That's the only thing, huh? there's, only a t there's yeah. no sponsoring of certain no, no. gadgets and that kind of stuff. It's no. very traditional yeah. in that respect. Um, how influential are you as, an, as a blog? More influential than, uh, than I think we, we know each day. I mean, uh, a lot of us have been doing this uh, for a long time, for several years. Mm. And, uh, and we, we were all enthusiasts before. We were all dedicated readers of the site before we ever wrote for it. So the fact that we've been writing for it, I mean, that's often its own reward. Okay, mm. yeah, we're getting salary and benefit from it now, and that's amazing. But we, we're often hearing uh, CEOs of, of corporations mentioning our name during uh, during press events, yeah, you know. it's most fun when you can start a rumor, uh, of course, and when you can publish uh, when you can publish a scoop. Do you like to write positively or negatively? Uh, do you really like to write about what you hate or what you love? Well, it's a combination, of course. Um, we're most enthusiastic when we get to write about things that we love. I mean, when there's a new innovative technology on it, that's that's its own reward. That, that I mean, you know, we get as excited as as the people that are reading. Our, our website do, mm. but um, yeah, occasionally it's nice to vent. You know, I, I have to admit, um, you know, it's wonderful. There's to enough get your crap gadgets out there that uh, yeah, sometimes it's nice to unload. Yeah. Do you use uh, other? Do you make videos yourself yeah. of gadgets? Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course, no. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, we've been doing videos uh, for quite a few years, and it's been interesting to watch it grow. Um, I mean, at first we did very few videos, and uh, but it's become 
the user experience is becoming more and more critical. So people want to see software. But is that true? So if you have a nice post, which people really like, how many times is it viewed in a day? Um, an average post is anywhere between probably three and five thousand views in, 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 in its first day of posting. Mm -hmm. Three to five thousand views. Three to three to five thousand views. And that's an average. That's an average post. Yeah. And a popular view post is a popular a popular post can go between sixty and hundred thousand. Yeah. And then if you have a movie, what is it? What is a popular movie? How many times is that viewed? A view can a view on a movie maybe is ten or twenty thousand on, on a popular on a popular, on a popular item yeah. and two thousand on a non pop on not so popular. Yeah, item. I'd say so. And that's just yeah. in this first day. I mean, these things live out there. You know, they take on a life of their own. And they can be five times as much uh, from Easily. that respect. Easily. Okay. And um, uh, do you travel to events yourself here in, in, in Europe? Do you go uh, or do you, do you leave your apartment? Uh, do you, yeah, do, actually. Do you uh, go to the next web and I don't those leave kinds my, of things? Other than uh, taking the kids back and forth to school and, and the box feet. So I'm, I, don't, I try not to leave the house too much. Very much. Very Dutch. <laughs> okay. Now, you've been here eight years. Can I talk Dutch to you? Uh, I'd rather you not. <laughs> Come on, start learning Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids can. My, my kids, my kids speak heel good Nederlands. Okay. <laughs> that was Rick, who still needs to know how to get become a proper Dutchman. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas Ricker. Thomas Ricker. Thomas Ricker. Thank you.